Well, we are here with the uber talented Derek Rattan. Uber. uber. I That's, like that word. You like that word? I do. That's how I'm going to um, introduce you from now on. You can tell everyone I call you that. I will. Okay. You did it first. <laughs> now, he is a very busy man, and Derek, it was a big year for you this past year. We're talking Grammy nominations, new records. Yeah. Where do we begin? Start with the record a little bit. Well, a uh, new record's called Take the Week Off, um, and uh, it came out last fall. Um, uh, I did a tour to promote that record with Jason Blaine and Chad Brownlee called the Your Town Throwdown Tour. And Which was probably no fun, because those guys don't like to have a good time. They're very boring guys. <laughs> uh, we had zero fun on that tour. No, uh, the opposite of that. But, uh, <laughs> but no, the, the record's been great. I mean, Take the Week Off was the first single, then we had passed it around. Our new song's called Country Mile. Yeah. There's a song on there called Mine Would Be You that uh, my buddy Blake Shelton heard and, and chose to record. And he took that to, uh, to number one in America and Canada last year. And we got a Grammy nomination out of it and ACM nomination. So it's been a, it's been a banner year. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of firsts. Uh, when you talk about that Grammy nomination, is, is that what you strive for as a songwriter? Is that as, as good as it gets pretty much hearing that news? Uh, you know what? It, I mean, it's awesome. I, I obviously never thought I would get a Grammy nomination, and it may never happen again. I mean, it's, it's, uh, that's kind of its own deal. But it's, I mean, you know, I, I do this because I have no other marketable skills. <laughs> and, uh, and because, and we've talked a little bit off air about this. I've got a wife and five kids, and, and I'm kind of a, a family guy. And when I, when I get, uh, not the cartoon family guy, but an actual family guy. <laughs> Sorry, Seth MacFarlane. Um, but uh, so anyway, that's why I do this. So I, I write songs and, and do shows like the one last night at Nashville North to, to, to have a good time, but also just to feed my family. It's what I do for a living. So the, the Grammy stuff, I mean, it's it's nice. It's it's uh, it's fun, but uh, but it's not the reason you do it, obviously. Right. And uh, you do have some more stuff coming up on your plate. In fact, uh, getting that farm up and going, you're, you that's know. Right. That's right. My wife and I bought some property last year in Nashville. And it's not a farm by Alberta standards. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and say that. It's not like a thousand acres, which is probably a small farm here. But uh, no, we bought some property outside Nashville and we're and we're and we're building a log home this year and diving into goats and, and Chicken. chickens and a couple of cows, I think, you know. Uh, maybe a maybe a couple of cows to raise for uh, for beef, you know. Yeah. What it won't be Alberta beef, it'll be Tennessee beef, but you know, wait. Well, you maybe you start can somewhere. you can sing to them and you never know what kind of beef they're going to produce. It exactly. might be just as good as Alberta beef. I well I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that here on the Stampede grounds. <laughs> okay. What was it like uh, getting asked to come back and play Nashville North? You've been there before, and what was it like again this year? Man, it's always such a treat. I believe this is my eighth time to play Nashville North. Uh, ninth time to play Stampede. We played the Coke stage with Dirk Bentley one year, but um, but three years ago, I was thinking about this this morning. Three years ago, I um, I recorded a live album, and I wanted the crowd to be just. I wanted it to be the best crowd it could be. I wanted to be that perfect live environment so we chose here at Nashville North so three years ago this week I cut my my live record which is called up all night uh, here at Nashville North so to to get invited back I mean you know it's 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 almost a cliche because everybody says it but it's true that's why they say it but the fans here in Alberta are the best and the ones that come to Nashville North um, it's just they're just off the hook excited for you to be there and and they just the energy that they give you back is 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 a lot of times more than we're giving them so it's it's such a nice reciprocal audience performer um, uh, environment with that with that energy so I I couldn't be more pleased to be back awesome we're happy to have you back what song are you gonna do for us Derek? well in honor of that live record that we did three years ago I think I was gonna do um, up all night okay we can't wait to hear it uber talented and the nicest guy in country music <laughs> this is Derek Rattan on Cowboy Casino saddle up right here on Shaw TV Draft at the Legion Bar, a band playing Skinner and CC. The place is packed and they're still piling in. Hope nobody calls the cops again. Well, hey, oh, having too much fun. Worked all week, now the work's all done. Everybody's feeling all right. So what do you say? Up all night. Well, 
Sally called the city, said she'd be home late. Jenny threw a beer in her boyfriend's face. Tommy passed out, still holding his glass. Someone took a marker through a big mustache. Well, hey, oh, having too much fun. Work tall week, now the work's all done. Everybody's feeling all right. So what do you say? Will the joint still rocking at a quarter to two? That was us last night in Nashville North, by the way. Will the joint still rocking at a quarter to two? We drank all the beer and the whiskey too. But the band just kicked off, gave me three steps. Ain't nobody going home just yet. Thank you. That was awesome. <laughs>